Hey makers, it's Charlotte with The Wooden Wit Co. And today I have Jess, our photographer, with me as well. Jess and I are going to give you some awesome tips on how to take professional looking photos of your products. <laughs> you're getting ready to shoot your candles or your sprays or whatever it is that you're making and you're wondering how to get some awesome looking photos, we've got some tips for you. So. We'll give you some different advice, whether your skill set is more at a Charlotte level or at a Jess level, who's amazing, then we'll give you some tips for each. So if you're at a Charlotte level, then you're probably working with your phone and you can actually take some awesome photos with your phone. So I use an iPhone personally, and if you don't know about the modes function on your phone, then you need to go check it out. So there's some great modes on your phone that actually Jess was kind enough to show me and you can change your fo phone into portrait mode so that you can actually get a really nice focused view on your product and make the photo look overall more professional. You can also pick up a light box on Amazon if you want and if you're looking to have some product photos on a clean white background, this is a way to um, do that pretty cheaply and easily as well. So. If you're a little bit more skilled or you're looking to take your photography for the next to the next level, just take it away. <laughs> Tell us your magical secrets. Okay, so um, if you have the money to invest in a professional camera, I use a Canon, it's an EOS R, and I actually shoot most of the wood and wick photos with the 50 millimeter lens. Um, we try to keep everything really sharp, so if you're familiar with any like general camera settings, I would keep the f-stop above five, and you actually have the same settings on your phone. If you go into the manual settings on your iPhone, I would keep it above five as well. <laughs> if you want your photos super sharp, if you want more of like a blur and a depth to your photos, you can go below five, even below 3.5. Those are just numbers, keep those in mind. And then I think the most important thing that I think about when I'm shooting for wooden wick is lighting and composition. So we use a lot of natural light in the wooden wick photos. If you don't have a huge lighting setup, I think um, natural sunlight is like the most beautiful light you can get and it's free. So that's Love that. Important. <laughs> and then um, composition as well. Just be mindful of where your props are in the photo. We like pull a lot of like natural um, textures and products. I was painting bricks all day today to get like a really natural looking texture, but with cool different colors. Um, so there's like a bunch of fun things you can do to mix it up, but lighting and composition, those are my like main things that I think about. Yeah, absolutely. I, I can't argue with the greatest here. So I'm just like <laughs> taking notes just like you guys. But um, again, you can invest in a professional professional camera if you are able to do so you're gonna have some incredible looking photography um, and if you have an iPhone or you can use your smartphone then you can still get some incredible photos by using the modes that I mentioned so um, we love seeing your guys's photography and the images that you take of your products so please tag us on Instagram if you are taking pictures featuring any of our products we would love to see them so tag us at wooden wick and we would love to check them out. So thank you guys so much for joining us today and watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making.